We always knew that Catalina used to work at Club Chubby. We just never realized she was the number one dancer. Catalina's just got to dance again. I've already imagined it, and it's great. I'd show it to you, except it's inside my head. I don't know, Randy. It's kind of a hard thing to ask a friend. Hey, Catalina, you feel like working for a crazy man and shaking your half-naked body for a bunch of sweaty drunks to help a woman you can't stand get out of jail? I'm sorry, Errol. After you said Catalina half-naked, I didn't hear it. Sorry. I said Catalina half-naked and I forgot what. I remember. You said something about Catalina being half-naked and I... I lost it again. Sometimes Randy gets trapped in his own brain loop. It also happens when he watches Back to the Future. When he finally popped out of it, we went to talk to Catalina. Wow, look at you. Dancing. The music and the movement keep the rats from attacking my ankles. Do it, Earl. Just remember, don't start with the words half-naked because I have. Wow, so, uh, you've got some good moves. You used to do that for a living, right? Yeah. I wonder which half's gonna be naked. I hope it's the front half. Randy. I remember now. Club Chubby, right? Say, was that, uh, was that a good experience? I mean, you got to wear a bikini. It's almost like getting paid to go to the beach, right? Only instead of sand in your crack, you get dollar bills. Yeah, it was the perfect job. I made great money, it was glamorous, but unfortunately, it became too dangerous. Catalina explained that her act was a little different, but made crowds go insane. Most dancers at Club Chubby just danced. But Catalina, she was special. She jumped. But in the end, Catalina found the risks as a go-go dance were far too great. <laughs> After seeing how deadly her jumping could be, Catalina made a promise to herself. I will never dance again. Tell the part about the jumping again. Look, if you enjoy dancing and love the extra money, it's crazy that you quit. What if the family forgave you? How could they? I killed a husband and a father. Listen, since I started the list, I've found that people can be pretty understanding. Unless you're a girl with one leg, but... I think she was already angry to start with. Anyway, I think you'll feel better if you talk to this guy's family. No one apologized to me for the execution-style slaying of my cousins during the Festival of Redemption. But you know what? I would have felt nice. I'll do it. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. I mean when you're ready. It turns out the horny guy with the weak heart was a club regular. So Chubby knew his name and that he had a family business. Hello? I'd like to see Mr. Tucker, Clark Tucker's son. What is it regarding? Tell him the woman is here who is responsible for his father's tragic death. You are 